my God. So, this is us after an impromptu night in the woods in the Colorado Rockies. Uh, we got caught on some crazy backcountry trails. That place is sweating so much now I'm freezing. Grab your bird. Okay. Grab your bird. Okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Good God. That probably doesn't look so steep on camera. And broke a bike. Then got hit by a monster rainstorm, uh, lightning storm that pretty much turned the trails to absolute like grease and impassable. They immediately flooded. So we have been lucky, siphoned some gasoline. We built this fire and we spent the night trying to stay dry and warm. Uh, next to the fire. And right now we're waiting on a search and rescue. We're almost dry. Almost dry. Almost warm. Not even close. <laughs> How's ever gonna get stuck in the woods with a couple of guys stranded overnight? You guys are the ones. <laughs> Ditto. Same sentiment. Yeah, I would. We wanted adventure and we found it. <laughs> I would think it's a and it was great. There's no crying. No one's complaining. We went through a we went through it. Yep. And everybody seems to be pretty no no not really any worse for the wear. No whiners. This is adventure. I kinda know what you sign up for. You may have all of it. <laughs> yeah. You know what can come. Yeah. Things can go wrong real fast. really wrong really slowly over a very extended period of time <laughs> all whole freaking night <laughs> all right here goes the gear slick out here This probably likely would not go well for us on 600 pound adventure bikes. Uh, and it's supposed to rain in a few hours. It's drizzling a little bit now. Oh, the four wheeler is caught in a rut. Welcome to our world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does. It's a good idea. Dude, you guys are crap ADV riders, but you're really good hikers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing the whole thing for the fashion anyway. <laughs> oh, the other one came around too. Uh, Dos Dias. Uh, yeah. We're going to get a truck. Yeah, I'm obsessed with these guys. Take it out. 
too much, too crazy. Muy loco. Al paseo es muy loco. Jason could do it. We we can't do it. No, I'm not doing it. I have nothing to prove, man. I don't need it. I need to hurt myself. Yeah. For us, it's hurting is a guarantee. Like, I mean, even if some a miracle happens and we don't hurt ourselves, the bikes are trashed. has arrived. So this is what we would have been riding. Cycles. We gotta get this shit out. It could be pretty cool to have like those Tesla video cameras on our dashboard to know exactly what happened to our motorcycles over the last four days of being in the wilderness. This is apparently where the bikes are. That is muddy. This is a bike that sat out in the wilderness for four days. Seems to be intact so far. All right, after four days stuck in Dillon, Colorado, we did manage to get the bikes back from the recovery service. They're pretty destroyed. This will be the first morning of our actual trip home now. Uh, we've been waiting for this moment to leave this town. Way, way too long. John's kickstand got flattened out somehow. Um, he did manage to get his windshield back together. That was gone. Got bent frame rails, frame guards, some nice case damage, case damage there. This did its job and my exhaust pipe isn't bent. Yep. Yeah, He's got it looking rails. pretty good again. Oh yeah, they also took off, somehow managed to take off the turn signal, which is pretty sweet. And then on the sled, got completely just trashed. The tank is destroyed. Um, I don't know how they did that. Obviously dropping the bike, but the that's gone. This is gone. The, uh, the spring is gone from my exhaust. Uh, my rear brake pedal is actually trashed. I hope it gets me home. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but it's totally broken. Uh, wires were hanging out of this when I got the bike back, uh, which was not the case before the lovely mountain recovery team. Joy rode our bikes out. Um, yeah, the bikes are pretty trashed. And we got 1,200 miles to get home. And it starts right now.